welcome to the RICS Social Impact Awards 2020. Now, given these challenging times, and I am recording this from my home office, it's more important than ever that we take time to recognize the outstanding contribution going on across the profession. And we have therefore produced this video to showcase our winning schemes. And I do hope that whether you are shortlisted or winners, you find a way to celebrate your achievements. Too often, our contribution to society has gone unnoticed or unrecognized. So with that in mind, our newly developed Social Impact Awards program was launched, and it's designed to celebrate the positive impact that the surveying profession has on the built environment, people's lives, and across the whole of society. Everything we do at RICS is designed to affect positive change in the built and natural environments through our qualifications, respected global standards, lifelong professional learning and development support, through to our trusted data and insight, we promote and enforce the highest professional standards. Now, following the launch of the Social Impact Awards, we received over 460 project entries from every corner of the country, from large scale projects to local community led initiatives with social or environmental impact at their core. Projects in all categories were judged based on their contribution to making a positive impact and adding value to society. Criteria covered human, social and environmental impact, as well as collaboration and innovation. Deciding the winning projects from this list was not an easy task, and I would like to take the opportunity to thank our judging panels who work tirelessly to select the winners from across all 12 regions. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors of our awards for their commitment and enthusiasm for the RICS Social Impact Awards during difficult and uncertain times. And in particular, I'd like to thank Seeker, the headline sponsor of the awards. And with that in mind, I'm delighted to introduce a short video which demonstrates the excellent social impact initiatives undertaken by Seeker and the positive impacts that this work is having. Thank you for your support and participation, and I hope to see you in person next year.
Now, to take us through this award ceremony, please welcome your hosts, Phil Spencer, FRICS, Location, 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 and Emma Jesson, ITV weather presenter and climate change reporter. Hello and welcome to the inaugural Social Impact Awards. We're here to celebrate the winning projects from across the Southwest, which, as you've already heard, have demonstrated excellence in their impact on the environment and society. Firstly, I'd like to thank all the entrants. This year's shortlist features some of the finest talent in the built environment, and the awards recognise the significant value these projects have brought to the communities around them. Of course, there wouldn't be an awards without the sterling efforts of the Southwest Judging Panel, who've had the incredibly difficult job of selecting the winners. And so, as always, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and commitment. Thanks should also go to the tireless work carried out by RICS staff. Teams include engagement, communications, conferences and PR. Well done, and I hope you enjoy watching this presentation. Winners of the Social Impact Awards 2020 Southwest will go on to compete at the National Grand Final in London on Thursday the 24th of September. You can find more information about the Grand Final and all regional ceremonial videos on the RICS website. Now, in these challenging times, we're all learning to adapt and embrace new digital ways of working. And I have to admit, this is the first time I've compared an online award ceremony. The same goes for my co-host, Phil Spencer. We're observing the correct social distancing, me filming in Manchester, Phil in his home in London. So why not join us in celebrating your achievements and today's winners across social media using the hashtag RICS Social Impact Awards. We can't wait to see your pictures and messages. But for now, I hand over to Phil. Thank you for the introduction, Emma. And before we enter the celebrations and recognise today's winners, I wanted just to take a minute to say how proud I am of how the whole industry is pulling together in this most difficult time. As a member of RICS myself, I've seen great examples of both large and small businesses supporting each other and their local communities, whilst of course also having to adapt and make tough decisions to remain resilient in such a rapidly changing situation. RICS continues to actively engage with government to ensure the profession is supported. And you can find more information on our work with government at the RICS COVID-19 hub at RICS.org. You'll also find professional guidance and advice covering key concerns and risks that we've identified. There are resources related to finances and well-being, along with specific information and support for SME members. Now, more than ever, we must take care of both ourselves and one another. So if you're struggling, please contact Lionheart, who provide a range of services from financial support, health and well-being packages, free professional counselling, legal advice, and indeed help if you or one of your loved ones becomes seriously ill. Lionheart support extends to both past and present RICS members, their partners and dependents. And now let's take a look at the shortlisted entrants for the South West.
Wow, what a fantastic array of shortlisted projects. So, here we go, making RICS history the very first digital awards. And Phil and I are absolutely delighted to have been asked to be a part of this, so good luck to you all. Our first category is commercial. This award is for any commercial property development or initiative, whether retail, office, industrial or mixed use. And the winner is... Bristol Spaceworks Bristol. Spaceworks is not an individual scheme, but a concept of providing affordable, flexible office and workspace for people in the area. The judges viewed three buildings, all completely different, and all achieved the scheme concept in different ways. With occupants as varied as a group of Somalis who provide high-quality social care cross-community and with a commitment to breaking down barriers, to a group of artists, to a Pentecostal Christian church. Not a grand scheme, but a great concept which has been made a success by a team of dedicated professionals who've really driven the project, many of them from the beginning. Massive congratulations. Now for one of the newly introduced categories, education. This category covers primary, secondary, tertiary or adult education facilities from schools to colleges and universities. And the winner of the education category in the southwest is Skull Nansleden Cornwall. Skull Nansleden is an outstanding example of a primary school with an ethos focused towards learning in nature and sustainability. Each classroom has outdoor space with a glass canopy roofing to facilitate outdoor learning. The allotments and cookery room give the children the opportunity to grow and prepare their own food fundamental in encouraging children to connect with nature. The project reflects a socially inclusive environment, allowing children with all needs to flourish. With 30% of the pupils with special education needs, the school has incorporated facilities such as a sensory room for autistic children. A huge achievement there, fantastic, well done to all involved. Now on to our third award, a newly renamed category that represents the magnificence of our historical buildings. This category is for the conservation, renovation or restoration of a single building or a group of buildings or structures. The award for the Heritage Category 2020 goes to... Winsford Cottage Hospital Beworthy, Devon. Winford Cottage Hospital is an exemplary restoration project rooted in the community. Designed by the noted English architect CFA Voicey, it closed in the 1990s and a local trust tried to secure its future. When that project stalled, it was acquired by the Landmark Trust. The trust has carried out a beautiful restoration, its arts and crafts details restored or recreated where lost. One half is a holiday apartment providing the bulk of revenue and the other half a series of community meeting spaces, workplaces and museum area. This textbook restoration has allowed the Grade 2 listed building to continue to serve the community it was built for. Really wonderful work. Congratulations. Infrastructure is a big part of our everyday life. This category covers a single project or programme of infrastructure works. For the purposes of this award, infrastructure means any project or programme that delivers essential facilities in connection with transport systems, road, rail, docks and airports emergency services, supply projects for power generation, water or sewage treatment, sea defences and information technology networks. It's great to see such a worthy winner because the award for infrastructure goes to Colley Lane, Southern Access Road, Bridgewater, Somerset. The £18.4 million Colley Lane, Southern Access Road scheme was a shining example of how an infrastructure project can bring wide-ranging positive impacts on the local community. Public engagement and consultation at all stages ensured the largely inaccessible Brownfield site was fully utilised to improve commercial and residential access, relieve congestion to Bridgewater Town Centre and provide benefits across the community. The works included the Somerset Bridge, which at 52 metres was the longest single-span bridge in Somerset and was designed without piers to minimise erosion and flood risk in the River Parrot. The innovative use of 9,000 cubic metres of polystyrene instead of traditional aggregate, along with 300 metres of embankment to minimise loading on the floodplain between the river and canal. Job done. Congratulations. 
Now then, don't forget to keep tweeting and sharing. So on to the next award and let's take a look at another new category, land and rural. This category covers improvements to the built or natural environment in urban, rural or coastal areas. And the award this year goes to RNLI Penley Lifeboat Station, Penzance, Cornwall. The new lifeboat station in a prominent position on the quayside in Newlyn provides spacious, efficient facilities for the volunteer crews of the two lifeboats serving this very important sector of the channel. Strong local community support raised a third of the £1.2 million cost. Timber clad with a high level of craftsmanship and well insulated with a discreet PV array, the station is functional and attractive, providing in addition showers and WCs for fishermen and visitors, an interpretation museum space and a meeting room available to community groups. A superb project. Very well done. Emma, this is a category I take a keen interest in, leisure, always popular with the entrants. The category is for a leisure or tourism project, including hotels, tourist attractions, venues and community centres and sporting facilities. And the Leisure Award for the South West Region this year goes to Bear Wood at the Wild Place Project in Bristol. Step back in time with a visit to Bear Wood. Starting 10,000 years ago with the Wolverines, this is a walk through some of Bristol's ancient woodland, charting its journey to the modern day. The walkway was constructed primarily by hand due to the difficulties of access to the site. The route of the walkway was designed on site to avoid the trees, which meant that no trees were removed during construction. Bearwood improves access to all to improve well-being and provide education on environmental issues. A fantastic project. I'm quite sure you'll all agree. Many congratulations. Thanks, Phil. Now, this is a category that's right up your street. Let's move along to residential. This category covers residential developments of either a single building or overall project, new build or conversion. And the winner of the residential category 2020 is... Launchpad Bristol. Launchpad is a pioneering collaboration between United Communities Housing Association, 1625 Independent People, and the University of Bristol. Designed to help address housing issues faced by young people today, the scheme has delivered affordable, high-quality homes using innovative construction methods. More importantly, it's created an inclusive, mixed community that expands horizons and improves aspirations. The first project of its kind in the UK, Launchpad is an outstanding project that delivers far-reaching social impact. An absolutely fantastic development. Huge congratulations. Congratulations then to all category winners and the teams and surveying professionals working tirelessly to deliver these first class schemes. From small projects to large scale developments, all of these have positively impacted communities and the built environment across the UK. So before we announce the big one, project of the year, I'd like to turn our attentions to the other equally as important RICS awards. These being Young Surveyor of the Year recognising, encouraging and embracing the very brightest of the next generation of chartered surveyors is vitally important for the future of the built environment. So as call to entries will be opening from the 15th of June, here is a two minute video to explain a bit more about this and why you should consider nominating a young talent. Welcome to the RICS Matrix Young Surveyor of the Year Awards. These awards recognise and celebrate the brightest talent in the profession.
So I hope that's got you thinking about your nominations. And hopefully I've built the anticipation enough. Emma, over to you. Thanks, Phil. So this is it. Over 460 entries, 12 regions, eight category winners for the South West. It's now time to announce the Project of the Year 2020. This is awarded to one of the category winners that judges deemed to demonstrate outstanding excellence. And I am delighted to announce that the Project of the Year for the RICS Social Impact Awards 2020 Southwest goes to Launchpad Bristol. A collaboration between United Communities Housing Association, University of Bristol, 1625 Independent Living and Bristol City Council and supported by the Bristol Housing Festival to provide affordable homes for key workers, care leavers and students. As well as creating a supportive community, the project was a testbed for how modular construction could provide 31 studio homes and the associated communal areas quickly and cost-effectively to help address the housing crisis. Many, many congratulations to you. All category projects will now join other regional winners at the grand final in London. I do hope, despite the current situation, that you all find ways to celebrate your achievements. Again, a big, massive thank you to our headline sponsors, Seeker, our judging panels and all entrants for helping to make our first RICS Social Impact Digital Awards such a success and demonstrating the great work that is going on across the UK. For those of you planning to join the grand final, the early bird ticket price will be available until the end of July. Further details are available on the RICS website. In the meantime, we stand together even while kept apart and RICS fully support their members at this difficult time in all our lives. So on behalf of Emma and myself, we thank you for having us. Stay safe and stay well.